Welcome to this video on how to use these closed loop stepper motors from Cloudry. First I will explain the wiring. Here you can see the encoder cable with the DB9 connector and the motor phase cables. This is the correct color coding for the motor phases cable. You need to put the cables into the screw terminal block. To find the correct pinout of the encoder cable, I screwed off the back of the motor and used the continuity tester. The pinout you see here is for the female side, so this is the encoder connector. The male side is mirrored. So keep that in mind when making the cable from the male DB9 connector to the screw terminal block that goes to the driver that you can see here. On the side of the driver there are 8 dip switches. Depending on how these are set, the settings of the driver change. The first four are to set the number of pulses per revolution. The encoder has 1000 counts per revolution, so I don't recommend setting this higher than 1000. The other switches are to set the motor direction, the pulse filter, the pulse mode and the run mode. Servo is closed loop and stepper is open loop. To test the motor, I wrote a little Arduino sketch that you can find in the description that reads the potentiometer and sends pulses to the driver. As you can see, the motor is rotating. When I turn this potentiometer, the speed decreases in one direction and it increases in the other direction. If you want to change other settings on the driver, you need to connect it to your PC using the RJ11 port. I made an adapter cable from RJ11 to DB9 and then I used the serial to USB cable. Once I found the correct pinout that you can see here, I made a cable that goes directly from RJ11 to DB9 without the jumper cables. In the device manager under ports, you can find the COM port of your USB to serial adapter. For me it's COM port 3. Here you need to click T-Series. Communication settings, select the correct COM port and open the serial port. Here you get a notification. Here you can test the motion. You can rotate the motor in one direction or in the other direction. You can also go to a certain position. This is in pulses. Here are the most basic settings. Here are some more settings and here are some PID values. That was it for this video. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the comments below. Please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.